You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. You brought light into my world. Why is it that the world hate to see life glow in beauty and in elegance? Anytime life feels so sweet, <laughs> then the news of an unbearable loss comes. <laughs> Just take a look at it. Because of this, just this. Something I could just tear right now and just end it all, end it all. I shouldn't have. I I, I shouldn't have. I, I shouldn't have let you go that day. I should have stopped you. It was all my fault. I should have stopped him. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. As you go, I pray you come back with good news. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to sign the deal and I pray they give us the funds, you know, as soon as possible. Don't worry, everything will go well, okay? It's just that I'll miss you. <laughs> I'm just going for three days. Oh, well, come on. A day without you by my side feels like a thousand years. I'm very sometimes. No matter how far I go, mm. I want you to know one thing. Yeah. I would always be here with you and you will be with me. Okay? Mm. I love you. I love you more. I gotta go. Mm? <laughs> okay. Let me do something catch up, right? Okay. Right. Love you. Love you more. Bye. Bye. Why did I let you leave that day? You promised me you would come back in three days. Just three days. Tell me, how do I live without you? My love is in over three days. Please come back to me. Please. I can't do this anymore. I can't even hold her. Please come back. Just come back. Helen, <laughs> you're still here crying. Let me cry. Let me cry my love back to it's me. It's okay. It's okay. Helen, <laughs> you really need to stop crying. For your own good health, please. <laughs> Listen, I know it's it's very painful, but no amount of tears will bring him back. Please, my dear, just hold yourself. Please, okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You need to stop crying, please. No amount of tears will bring him back. You're hurting yourself, Helen. Now you're going to make me cry, please. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wipe your tears, okay? <laughs> I saw him in my dream again. Me too, I saw him in my dream. He was crying. Crying? We've never seen daddy cry before. That is what I'm not happy about. We need to tell mommy about this. Daddy doesn't speak mommy call. And Mama Grace is not here to hear. I don't know what to do. I just came back, came in here and discovered it's yours. You're lying down here sleeping. Yeah. I'm not feeling too well. Oh. Yeah. I can see it's written on your face. Why don't you seek medical attention? Because you are not looking well at all. That's not necessary. I'll be fine. Okay, let me check the children. Um, uh, Madam Grace, please. Um, when last did you talk to my husband? Ah, it's a long time ago, like two months, a month, two months now. Why? Like I taught you usually talk to him. So I used to do, but his number is not available. I've been trying to call him for the past one month. His number is not connecting. Um, did he tell you where he is? No, he didn't. Listen, I'm begging you. When Nessie comes home, try and make peace with him. I am having this strange feeling and it's not good. Please, madam. Please. Oh, all right, it's fine. Just go and attend to the kids, please. Okay, ma'am. What are you people doing here now? Good morning, ma. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my lovely angels? I'm not fine. You're not fine? What happened? I keep seeing our daddy in my dream. <laughs> my love, what did he tell you? He was crying. I saw him too. He was not happy. That's not true. I know your father. He is always a happy man. Each time I call him on the phone, he sounds happy and cheerful. So it couldn't have been him. But why was he not happy in our dream? Don't say things like that. People's faces are sometimes different from what we see in our dreams. When next you see your father in your dream, pray for him so that God will protect him for you. Right? That's what I thought. Don't thought now. It's not that time for thoughting. Come and get ready. Let's go to school, yeah? Yes. Right, let's go. Come. So you mean he has not been coming to the office? Oh yes. Um. You see, it's been two months now. Um. 
We've been trying to reach him. His number doesn't connect. Yeah. You see, the most weird part of the whole thing is his car. His car has been parked at the company premises for a while now. Since the day he left. Oh my goodness. What about his car keys? Um, I really can't give you any information about that. Because, I mean, I can't say. Has he been this isolated before? No. No? Uh, not really. You see, he has documents he has to approve um, before we proceed to the customers. But he hasn't been picking his calls, so that really kept us handicapped. Wow, this is serious. Um, you see, madam, I would advise you to call your husband. I believe you have his contact. Um, you call him because we are losing clients. And you know what that means to the company. He has not even paid us for two months now. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, you guys can leave. I'll get back to you. Thank okay, you, ma. Okay. Thank you, ma. Baby! Helen! Come on, darling, where are you? Jim. Hey. What is it? Why are you excited? Sit down, sit down. Go, go in this room. Sit down. I got the job. You got the job? Yes. You got the job? Yes, I did. <laughs> you got the job. Come on, you got the job. You Come got on, the don't job. start, please. Come on. I'm happy for you. I, I know. Don't start, please. Today is supposed to be our day of joy. Let us be happy for once today. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Honey? I know. <laughs> hey. Honey? My love. Your love smells. Tell me, how did it go? Ah. Uh, how look, did it go? Among all the resume that was folded, you picked three okay. and I happened to be among. Get it. Yes, so they said um, they're going to give us a call back okay. to come and see the deal. Like, I mean, I'm the happiest man in the world. Our life's <laughs> about to change. You know what? I, I made something really good because I knew that you're going to get it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let me give you all the respect. Oh my God. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Someone so important in this whole world. As the okay. one that has taken him from me hey. Someone who's my backbone and my everything As the one that has taken away That's why I'm crying How can I move on? Thank God. Thank God he's back. Thank God he's back. Thank God he's back. Thank God.
called my name. Madam, did you hear anyone called you? Please don't ask me questions. Madam, uh, I'm asking you a question because in my village, when you hear such voice calling you, it means either you are going to lose something or you, you have already lost someone Michael, without you knowing. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. I am not from your village. Even though you are not from my village, start now and calling your relatives. Check on them. Can you imagine? I say get out from here. Go to your duty post. Yes, Start calling my relative. Imagine. Hey, so much confusion. I, it's like I don't know what is going on. Can somebody tell me? Cause I don't understand. Though. I am so confused. I don't know what to do. Someone wake me, wake me, wake me. Maybe I am dreaming. Hey, or maybe shake me, shake me, shake me. Maybe I will just wake up Mama, to what reality. Is it? Are you okay? I'm fine. Have you heard from him? No. I just pray nothing happens to him because if anything happens, I'll never forgive myself. Madam, it's not yet time to talk like that. Put him in line his prayer, a lot of it. Pray more for him. Don't complain. <sighs> All right, it's fine. Um, has he ever told you where he is at any time? No, ma. He has always, has always told me he is not far away. That's the much he has said to me. Okay, no problem. Just keep calling him. You know, send him text messages, even if he refuses to come back. But just make sure he tells you where he is. Please. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. All right. I'm just confused. Hey, so much confusion. I, I, it's like I don't know what is going on. Can somebody tell me? Because I don't understand. No. I don't feel like going out. Oh, come on. You're looking so sweet to stay at home. <sighs> okay. Where are we going to? Don't worry about that. Just follow me. Okay? Uh, um, where, where is Junior? Oh, he, he went to Amelie's house. That's okay. So, shall we? Of course.
Bella. I don't know. I'm beginning to feel some kind of way about my husband. He no longer talks to anybody, including his office. I don't know what to do. His office? Yes. His office. He has, he has cut everyone off. I don't know what to do. I said it. Marrying a calm man can be a very big problem. His ways can be like that of the wind. Nobody knows its direction. I wonder why he's doing that. You're not even helping matters. How? You knock the hell out of this man. You're even going overboard. I hope he's fine wherever he is. That's the problem. I just hope he's fine. Like, I, I don't even understand. Look, Bella, I'm beginning to, you know, have some sort of negative feeling, like negative energy about this whole thing. Seriously, I am confused as hell. You really need to help me, please. So, what have you done about it? Nothing. I haven't done anything and I'm confused. You are not serious. You have not done anything. Eh? You are looking for your husband, they are just saying, <laughs> you have not done anything, you are confused. Ha! Huh? You are not even serious. You are looking for your husband, and you are, you, are, you are behaving this way. Why do you take everything lightly? I am not taking anything lightly. I am not, I am just confused. What do you want me to do now? Uh -uh. Ha! Just sit down and last. I pray you don't learn the hard way this time. Uh -uh. Bella, hmm? I called you here to tell me what to do and not to judge me. Why are you sounding this way now? I am not judging you and you know that. I am not. I've told you so many things and you refuse to do them. Okay, it's fine. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. It's just that I'm confused and I, I, I need to talk to someone. I need you to talk to me. Hmm? It's okay, it's fine. First, you need to pray about this whole situation. Secondly, we'll go to the police station and report this case to them. Report? Yes. Does that mean my husband is missing or something like he's lost? I'm not saying that your husband is missing. No. Your husband could still be in this town. It's just for the police to help us and find him. That's all. Okay. It's fine. I just hope they find him for me. Seriously. You know, if only you will learn. Ha. You're pushing me. I'm pushing, pressing him. Yeah, you don't press him now. My dear, go and give me food if you have any. Helen. 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 Mm -hmm. Why are you still lonely when I'm here with you? You seem to have forgotten yesterday. Well, I can't seem to forget my loss. So, do you want to get lost to make up for your lost? Honestly, I'm trying. I just can't move on. Listen, if you want to move on, you have to look beyond your lost. All right? Why do you still look at me as a stranger? You just totally sweep our past into the dustbin. So you still remember that? I had to take it off my mind. But is it not right I bring it back on? Hello. 
Maybe I will just stay there for only two years. Eh? Two years? Yes. Ha! No, now. How do you expect me to cope in this village without you? Maybe you will cope, okay? Before you know it, two years will be here, I will come back. No, 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 no. You know I cannot even stay two days without you. No, you want me to stay two years without you? Stop now. Please. Listen, let's do it like this. Cancel the journey. Mm -hmm. Cancel it. Or take me along sideways. Mm. How? But, but, but you know you cannot go with me. Why? I'm going there to learn work now. So you expect me to actually stay in this village without you? Ha! Huh? I will not stay. Calm down, okay? You will stay. No, I don't want to stay. I don't want to stay without you. No, no, no. I no. don't think it's easy for me. To. You guys leave me. You take it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Don't go and meet on that girl there, because I'll kill her. But you know I love you so much. And I love you more. <laughs> so I love you too, anyway, okay? <laughs> and you left me for four years. I didn't want to come back empty-handed. So I had to stay back and work. And you expected me to wait for you for that long, right? <laughs> why, are we even, why are we even discussing this? I, I've long moved on from the past. Listen, Helen, I, I am so sorry for taking you back. But please, give me the opportunity to amend my wrongs. Don't go there, please. Helen, you cannot stay like this forever. You need a man by your side. Can't you see I'm mourning? I am still mourning. Okay, I, I'm sorry if I'm moving too fast. I'm so sorry. But I still want you to understand that I love you. I love you so much. And we can still be happy together again. Oh, na na na, yeah. Hey, so much confusion. I, it's like I don't know what is going on. Can somebody tell me? Hey, Lord, please save him for me. Please bring him back. My enemies will laugh at me. His family will deal with me. Oh God. Please save my husband. Honey, where are you? I will never bother you again this time. I never knew it to get to this. Oh my God. It's like I don't know what is going on. Can somebody tell me? Cause I don't understand. I am so confused, I don't know what to do Someone wake me, wake me, wake me, maybe I am dreaming hey. Or maybe shake me, shake me, shake me, maybe I will just wake up to reality Shake me, shake me, shake Thank you so much for today. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's okay. You see, I've been thinking of something. What? I think I am going to move you and Junior out of that village. To where exactly? Oh, come on, Helen. Stop. Stop being rigid to me. You can't. 
can never change, Chinedu. I'm sure you know what I mean. I know, but I need some time to think about it. <sighs> what can I say? That's okay. That's okay. Well, sincerely, thank you, though. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Glad. I hope Junior has taken his dinner. Of course, and I fed him very well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, I want to ask, mm -hmm. how was your outing with Chinidu? So, so, he was asking for my love. Really? That is beautiful. So, what did you say? Uh, I told him I would think about it. Why? What is there to think about? Will you not be jealous if you see him with another woman? Uh -uh. Why would I be jealous if I see him with another woman? Why Come not? on, he has his life to live. Oh, yes. really? Uh, really? Mm. Helen, mm. look at me in the eyes and tell me you do not love Chinidu. Mm. Tell me. Calm down. What is it? <laughs> you know I cannot just jump on him like that now. What's uh -huh. that? I know you love him. Listen, the fact that you lost your husband is not the end of the world for you. I need you to find love again. So give this love a chance so both of you will just move on and be happy. I hope Junior didn't give you <laughs> too much trouble today. No, not at all. My consign is for you to find love and be happy. As for Junior, leave him for me. I will take care of him, okay? Now let me take him inside so he can't. Don't worry, leave him. I've not held him. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Madam, good morning. Thank you. What is it? Madam. I have come to tell you that I have resigned. Yes. I, I don't understand. You've come to tell me that you have resigned. Yes. Like, what's that supposed to mean? Is it that we're not paying you well or you've gotten another offer? Madam, none of the above. If I leave this job now, I know I will suffer. But it is better I die of suffering than nobody know what killed that one. <laughs> Damn Kwa. You know you have to stop taking that brokutu of a thing because whenever you take it, you don't have sense. Like your reasoning will be so low. Ah, ah, what Ma is it? Madam, now now you come. Brokutu make me confident. Even to open my eyes to see the ghost. Eh? What? Ghost? Like 
What's that supposed to mean? Ghosts? What did you see? Ghosts? What are you talking about? Madam, every night when you are on the bed sleeping and snoring, I wake up and running around over the house because of the ghost. Yeah. Shut your mouth! Look, don't allow my children to hear that there is a ghost in this house. There can't be any ghost in my house. Just stop with me. Madam, I know you won't believe it. Because there is no evidence. Madam, I want to resign. What? Yeah. Look, um, Danko, I have been going through a lot of reasons. So please, I don't, I don't want you to add more problems to my problem. Can you just go to your duty post? We'll talk about this later, please. Mm. Yes. Madam, if I see this ghost again, hey, Dankwa, before you wake up in the next day, Dankwa is there, don't they near a papa house to a village. Dankwa, you said I can go to my duty post. But what else? I hope nothing has happened to my husband. What? Ouch. I hope nothing has happened to my husband. What have I done? Nothing has happened. God. He's not around. But I just called him. And he told me he's at home. You just called him. And you told him he's at home. Does that make me a liar? Don't you understand English? I just told you that my husband is not around. So what are you trying to say? You are calling me a liar, eh? Come on, it hasn't got into this. I only asked you if he's at home. I need to see him. I have a pressing need now. And I said he is not around. Is your brain pot? Do you want to put words in my mouth? I said he's not around. Ah, what is it? What is relation? Nonsense. Ah, why are you stressing me? Sorry. Uh -uh. Oh, that. Sorry for yourself, idiot. My friend, lock my gate. Where is Dangwa? My friend, push him out. I don't want to see this idiot around here again. <laughs> 